Hello and welcome to this month's Council Update. It's February 2023 and I'm Council Member Justin Olson. Joining me today on this month's Council Update is my friend and Cottage Grove resident, Sean Brundage. Sean, thanks for joining me today. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too, Justin. All right, I appreciate me. it. You know, our topic here is going to be Black History Month because February every year is Black History Month. And I invited Sean to join me today because he has a very compelling story about himself and his family and how they ended up in Cottage Grove. And I'd really like to chat further with Sean about some of the things related to that journey and then what Black History Month means to him and his family. So Sean, first of all, a little bit of history about Black History Month that I just recently learned. Black History Month actually started with historian Carter G. Woodson and members of what is now the Association for the Study of African American Life and History. They first organized Black History Week in February of 1926. And they chose February because, of course, it's close to the birthdays of two very important individuals, Abraham Lincoln, who was the president at the time of the Emancipation Proclamation, and Frederick Douglass, the African American abolitionist. So, of course, over the next 50 years, Black History Week transitioned into Black History Month. The first proclamation for Black History Month was made by President Gerald Ford. And moving forward, every February we celebrate Black History Month. I was really grateful that Sean was able to join me today because uh, obviously he's somebody that I respect a great deal and I understand that uh, he's got a lot of really good knowledge about what Black History Month means to the black community, to him and his family. So Sean, without further ado, tell us a little bit about yourself. First of all, where did you grow up and how did you end up in Cottage Grove? I grew up in Warren, Ohio, okay. 50 miles southeast of Cleveland. Um, left home and joined the military, went to the Navy, didn't work out. Uncle Sam said, hey, you're not fit for duty. We're going to retire you, send you to college. So I went to college in Florida and then again in Nashville, Tennessee. And after finishing college, moved to Houston, Texas, All right. where I met my wife, Shaletta. Okay. Now, we got married here in uh, Minneapolis in 2006. Well, that's awesome. Good. Um, and stayed here until 2010. Moved away for five years. All right. And came back in 2015, Good. where we settled in uh, Cottage Grove. Good. Uh, we, we left with one child and came back with four. <laughs> okay. So, in the need for good education in public schools, we sought out Washington County uh, and, and landed in Cottage Grove. So tell us a little bit about how you feel, um, you know, being a Cottage Grove resident and, you know, having lived in all these different places. It feels good living in Cottage Grove. We're, 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 we're delighted to see the diversity of Cottage Grove starting to, to take off. Yes. Um, as one of the few African-American families in our neighborhood, mm -hmm. we've, we've got collegial relationships with all of our neighbors. And, right. And that's a blessing. Uh, we go out of town, call them up, say, hey, can you keep an eye on things for us? Sure. And, and that's something <clears throat> when, when we lived in other communities, in a black community specifically, right. um, it, it just happens organically. Right. Um, but we, we, we asked and, and, they, and they stepped up and took, took care of things, shoveled snow when we were out of town. Right on. Good. So we're, we're delighted to be in Cottage Grove. So I wanted to ask your opinion about Black History Month. What does that really mean to you and your family? Um, we, we look at Black History Month as an opportunity to learn more uh, about what African Americans have contributed to this country. Sure. Um, sure, everybody knows about the history and the civil rights movements and those type of things, right. but we, we want to talk and learn more about everyday contributions like those of Katherine Johnson and the work she did with NASA, the Tuskegee Airmen and their contributions to uh, the United States military. A lot of those stories aren't told and aren't written into traditional history books. That's correct. And so we use Black History Month as, a, as an opportunity to highlight some of those things. So as far as your family is concerned, are there specific ways that you might celebrate? Are there events you go to or, or things well, that mean we, a lot we, to you? We actually start activities right around Martin Luther King Day. Okay. Um, and so the kids are out of school. We always do uh, some internet assignment where we, right. we look up a historical figure and have the kids learn about it, print out some pictures that they can color, right. um, and, and then do small presentations to each other about what each of those historical figures contributed to, to the country. Uh, and it continues in February. Right. Uh, we usually take weekends and we mm -hmm. look at what's, what's going on, who's important, um, 
from an African-American standpoint, what kind of contributions they've made uh, to the country. One thing that I would recommend for people who may be looking for additional resources, you can go through the Minnesota Historical Society. Um, there's a lot of information online about various uh, figures in black history in Minnesota. So for this month's council update, I'm council member Justin Olson. Sean, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. And thank me. you for watching at home. <laughs>